remember holding my wound, kind of walking around, like, just kind of like asking everybody, like, what do I do? Do I walk? Do I go find help? Do I lay down on a tube? Like, I'm, I feel like I'm dying. For the first time, we're now hearing from one of the people stabbed during a deadly encounter on the Apple River last weekend. Riley Madison shares her story with Fox 9 from her hospital bed in St. Paul. Now, all told, a man with a knife stabbed five people, and one of them, a 17-year-old from Stillwater, died. Now, that suspect is charged with murder and was back in court today. More on that in just a moment, but first to Riley's story. Mm -hmm. Paul Bloom joins us live from the newsroom with this. And, Paul, she says the suspect is the one who threw the first punch here. And, Karen, Tim, literally, it was a first punch. Riley Madison described the chaotic scene for me, fueled at least in somewhat by alcohol. She the first injured in this river confrontation and then so focused on her own wounds with literally the insides of some of her stomach exposed, she did not see Isaac Schumann get killed. I honestly didn't even know anybody else was stabbed. I was not paying attention to any of that. I was focused on myself because I was so scared. Riley Matson suffered a punctured lung. Her diaphragm and stomach area badly damaged in the stabbing. The 24 year old telling me from her hospital bed she had to be resuscitated when she arrived at Regions last weekend, where she survived a surgery to put some of her insides back together. So I actually have about 30 staples going from my belly button up my stomach um, where they had to go in to fix my diaphragm and then they had to put in a chest tube. Riley admits in her memory of events fuzzy as she was drinking with about 10 friends, spending Saturday afternoon having fun tubing along the Apple River. She recalls a commotion drawing her group's attention to an older man who appeared to have upset some others on the water. We now know that man, Nikolai Miyu, and those other tubers were accusing him of being creepy and looking for younger women. A friend of mine had kind of, I think, went up to the older man or he came up to us. I don't know that exact point, um, but she had told him, you need to leave. Like, you need to go. You need to get away. And he kind of stood there for a second and then punched her in the face. He kind of just stared at me for a second and he pretty much like, not like lunged at me, but kind of just like leaned forward a little bit. And I thought he had punched me in my stomach. Um, and I'm like, oh my goodness, like I was telling my friends, I was like, I think he, like, he punched me really hard, like this feels weird. And we both had looked down and I instantly was bleeding. Um, I obviously was stabbed like instantly. Me, you who fled the area is claiming self-defense, telling investigators afterwards it was the group of tubers who were the aggressors surrounding him as he searched the river for a cell phone, putting him in fear for his own life. Riley has no idea where the criminal case may be headed. She just knows none of it should have happened. It's insane that you, things can escalate so fast and that people just don't care about anybody in this world. Well, while Riley knew the other stabbing victims who survived, she did not know the 17-year-old Schumann. We have much more of her story online at fox9.com as well as our YouTube channel. One final note for this case, Nikolai Miu has hired one of Kyle Rittenhouse's Wisconsin attorneys to represent him at trial. Of course, Rittenhouse was acquitted last year of murder, claiming self-defense. We're live in the news tonight. Paul Bloom, Fox 9. All right, Paul, thank you.